Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin the repair, make sure the mower's engine has cooled and remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Your first step is to carefully set the mower on its side. Be aware that some gasoline or engine oil may spill out. Next, use a support to hold the blade in place. Using a 5 8 inch socket, remove the mounting bolt and washer, then pull off the blade adapter and blade. Now use a half inch socket to remove the upper bolt securing the belt guide and loosen the lower bolt. Move the guide out of the way, unthread the belt and pull off the blade driver. Your next step is to remove the bolts from the deck to release both the belt shield and the rear baffle. Be aware you may need to readjust the wheels to access certain bolts. With the bolts removed, set the shield and baffle aside. Adjust the traction cable tension if necessary and remove the spring end of the cable from the transmission bracket. Rotate the transmission and remove the screws to release the bracket. Remove the belt from the pulley. Now carefully set the mower upright and support it. Use a half inch socket to remove the bolts to release both rear wheel assemblies and debris shields. Use snap ring pliers to remove the snap rings from the transmission shaft. Then pull off the gears and washers. Now hold the transmission shaft as you set the mower back on its side. Use a half inch wrench to secure the adjustment plate mounting nuts and a half inch socket to unthread the two bolts. Then remove them. Slide the old transmission up, lift the plate out of the way and pull the transmission out. Be aware this may require some effort. You're now ready to install the new transmission. Lift up the deck adjustment plate and slide the new transmission into place. Replace the mounting bolts. Thread the nuts onto the bolts and tighten with the wrench and socket. Set the mower upright and support it. Then replace the washers, gears, and snap rings onto the transmission shaft. Reinstall the two rear wheels by first inserting the bolts and positioning the debris shields. Then align the bolts with the mounting brackets and thread the bolts into place. Tighten them with the socket. Remove the support and set the mower back on its side. Thread the belt onto the pulley, then replace the transmission bracket and secure the screws. Rotate the transmission into place and reattach the spring end of the traction cable to the bracket. Align the belt shield with the rear baffle and reinstall by securing the bolts. Make sure to readjust the wheels to the desired position. Now align the key on the blade driver with the keyway in the shaft and slide the driver into place. Thread the belt and reposition the belt guide. Reinstall the upper bolt and tighten the lower one. Next, insert the bolt and washer through the adapter and blade. Position the assembly onto the blade driver 
and prepare to use the support to hold the blade in place. Thread the bolt and torque the bolt to manufacturer's specifications. Be aware this may require some effort. Remove the support and carefully set the mower upright. With the repair complete, you can now reattach the spark plug wire and boot.